1950 meters. Starters says go from the 1950 meter marker. An untidy beginning this one. That's our goals right there. Miss Tiger Eyes has a good position. Asker Charm is also among the leading division. Adira is on the outside from Heaven's Duel and Dame Victoria as they swing on to that back stretch. Cerise is on the outside of runners. Then comes the White Flower. Rock and Rose is further back in the field. The number of fighters, Miss Tiger Eyes, one of those down the back stretch as they head off towards the 1400 meter marker. So Adira in the yellow silks and Heaven's Duel is near the rail. Behind that one is Aska Charm racing between the two of them. Cerise's on the outside and then comes the White Flowers about four or five lengths off the leader as Dame Victoria goes around them all now. So Dame Victoria now is going off to lead them. So Dame Victoria has the call. Heaven's Duel is second. Adira's in third position. Miss Tiger Eyes is back at the rail in fourth place. And that gives him about four or five lengths start. And they are followed further back by Cerise, who's only about five lengths off the leader, just in front of Sleek Jet. And then come That Our Girl. Miss Stingray is about seven or eight lengths off the leader, followed further back by Oak Ridge. And then comes Rock and Rose. Rock and Rose about eight or nine lengths off the leader. As they come for home now with about 500 metres to go. Carl's applause the trailer. Dame Victoria by a length and a quarter. Adira is the first one to challenge. Heaven's Duel is down the inside. The White Flower towards the outside. That's how Gull's going to make a bid down the inside towards the outside of that one is Cerezo. Dame Victoria, Adira is now trying to put on the pressure past the 200. Miss Tiger Eyes down the inside and Miss Stingray is also running on from behind. Dame Victoria is still the leader from Adira as they come to the 200. Miss Stingray is running a big race on the outside but Adira comes into the lead. Rock and Rose taking off late but Adira is going on and Adira has got it won. Second place will go to Rock and Rose, then Dame Victoria, Miss Stingray and Oak Ridge. So victory for number eight, and that's Adira, Anthony Delpesh, Mike Tocock, and this is a filly by Silvano, number eight on the toad. It's showing six round 80, and Adira ends up winning it well at the business end. Second win from six outings from Ambient Stud. Second placing, if we run it across, we'll go to number two, Rock and Rose, number one, Dame Victoria, then number 11, Miss Stingray, Oak Ridge, Miss Tiger Eyes was one of the fighters in the race. Cerise's further back in the field. And then came Sleek Jet. Further back, the White Flower calls applause. Dame Victoria, the leader. Deer is now coming on with the yellow cap. Miss Stingray is on the right. And Rock and Rose down the inside. Miss Tiger Eyes. And then that's our girl. But victory is for Adira, who ends up being victorious at the business end of race 18, 122,54. Until the ninth race, back to the studio. We've just seen the running of race number eight here at Scottsville over 1950. That's gone the way of Adira. Trained by the Mark de Cox stable, ridden to victory by Anthony Del Pesh, giving him his second winner on the day. Speaking to Nathan Cotton, you know, Nathan looks like it relished the extra extra ground. Oh, you know, she's had a quite a bit of a break after that uh, one or two runs in July, and then uh, we're giving her two runs back at 1200 or 1400. It's actually the first time she's going the right trip. Um, just well done to all concerned, and thanks to Anthony. Yeah, Anthony's ridden two winners today, and your stable seems to be ticking over nicely. Yeah, they seem to be running well. And like we chatted off here, you got lots of babies uh, to bring out during the season. Yeah, most of my strings two-year-olds. All right, well, that uh, gives you a lot to look forward to. I'm sure we'll see you uh, many times during the season. Thanks very much. Thanks, Nathan. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. I'm just looking, scanning across for Antal Pesh. Doesn't look like too many of the jocks are coming back here. Got quite a busy day. We're running a bit behind schedule. Uh, so congrats to Anthony Del Pesh. That's the second winner for the day. Congrats to the Mark uh, de Cox stable. Uh, to the owner's main chance farms, to the breeder, Dr. M. Thompson. And that was a three-year-old daughter of Silvano. We'll see you back for the running of race number nine.